Hey guys, this is week six, day five, Feral's dream. So, Feral's all snug in bed and comfortable, and Joseph, who will show up later, is still in prison. And the butler had forgotten all about Joseph and left him there all alone in prison a few years later. But that night, Pharaoh's having a dream. He had a dream. That seven fat cows come up. And they're all grazing and they're happy. And they're looking good. They're flushed. They're fat and they're big. And then seven skinny, scrawny cows come in. And they ate the fat cows. And then they still were skinny and scrawny. And Pharaoh wakes up and, whoa. That was a weird dream. He's like, all right, well, he goes back to sleep. And he has another dream. He sees this dream that has, uh, the stalk has seven healthy pieces of corn on it, or crops of corn. They look good. Well, he wanted to pick one and eat them. They were that good. And then seven little scrawny, beat up little stalks, uh, crops of corn grew up on there and swallowed up the, the healthy ones and they were still look just as scrawny if Pharaoh wakes up and this thing that I ain't going to bed we ain't going to have a third dream when he gets up he gets dressed he goes into his courtyard he calls all his wise men in and his butler his butler's always there he calls the wise men in, he tells them the dream, and he's like, what's this dream mean? And they're all confused, they're like, we don't know. They're thinking, maybe he had too much Mexican food last night, and he's having weird dreams. Because they'll do that. Something about some of those foods give you weird dreams. They think maybe he had some weird dreams. And they don't know. And then suddenly the butler remembers. He's like, you know... A while back, I was in prison, and there was this guy down there named Joseph, and he interpreted my dream, and the dream came true. Pharaoh's like, well, go get him. So he dismisses the wise men because they're not working for him. And the butler brings in Joseph out of prison. And Pharaoh's like, hey, Joseph, I hear you can interpret dreams. And Joseph's like, nope, I can't. But God can. My God can interpret the dream and give me the meaning of it. My God can give me the meaning of the dream. So Pharaoh tells Joseph the dream. And Joseph's like, uh, he probably takes a moment to pray. And God gives him the meaning and he's like, all right, Pharaoh, the dreams are the same. The seven fat cows and the seven healthy ears of corn means that you're going to be seven years of plenty. All the harvest, everything's going to be wonderful for seven years. Things are going to grow in, plenty, in more than enough in abundance, that's what the word is. And everyone's like, all right, yeah, Pharaoh's all happy. Like, this sounds good. Of course, the butler remembered the, the, the baker's dream, too. He said, hmm. He's thinking. And then Joseph says, put the skinny cows and the uh, scrawny corn. Those are seven years of famine. Seven harsh years of famine. And they're going to be so bad that nobody will remember the seven good years. And Pharaoh's like, oh boy, this ain't good. And then Joseph's like, what needs to be done is someone needs to be appointed to uh, save up food and manage food from the seven good years so that everyone still has food in the seven years of uh, famine. Having someone wise and smart. Let's see. Did they actually say? Oh, and honest. 
got to have some fun. Because that's a lot easy to be cheating on. And Pharaoh's yeah. like, and Pharaoh thinks for a little bit, you know what, Joseph, you have figured this out. Your God's working for you. You know this stuff. I'm going to trust you. I'm going to put you in charge. You're going to be so much in charge that you'll only answer to me. You'll be the number two guy in the kingdom. And Joseph, uh, and they put a special ring on him, made him all special, give him new clothes, and put Joseph in charge. Uh, and, and we think back a Joseph's story. Joseph started off, he was living okay, things were comfortable. And then his whole life falls apart. His family betrays him. He gets, becomes a slave. Then, he, then he's thrown in prison over a lie. And then he goes and helps somebody and they forget about him. Joseph's had a horrible life. His life went really bad for a while. And now he's back in here. Second in command. And sometimes the hard stuff and bad stuff that happens in our lives, that's God just working things and for uh, getting us. Because Joseph went from what? Number 11, brother number 11 to, uh, uh, which is kind of low in the family. Because the older you were, the higher up you were. To now, he's second in command. Of an entire country. Oh. I mean, of those, those hard times. Is God could use those. To help our life and improve our lives. And get, make us. I'm drawing a blank what they said. Um, make everything turn out alright. And we can have a good life. We just trust in Jesus. And we don't give up in the hard times. Like ah, life's hard. God's not helping me. God's not real. I'm going to be abandon him. But I'm going to be like Joseph and keep trusting in God even in the hard times. And things will come out and everything could be better in the end. So, you guys remember that? And we'll see you Monday. We're going to get to the back to our Bible study. So, don't forget what it is. What lesson it is. But that'll be Monday. I'll see you on Monday. Bye.